Hey y'all. This your girl, Comedic Medium Prophetess, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I am a prophetic tarot reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. I read cards based off what spirit tells me. <laughs> the holy angels and the divine. I'm also a psychic medium. I'm able to connect with those who have crossed over. And I'm going to do a reading for the divine feminine, divine masculine. Whatever's going on in Karmicville. All right. So let's pray first. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raphael. I ask you to send your greatest white light. And please give me clear and precise messages. Protect my crown chakra. Protect my throat chakra. Protect me from any harm or entity that does not want me to speak, that does not want me to get messages out. Thank you, Archangel Michael, Metatron, Gabriel, Raphael, Raziel. Thank you, ancestors. Somebody got a food truck. Somebody lives on the East Coast. Somebody lives in New York. I'm telling you, I'm seeing it in my third eye. Somebody can live in Brooklyn. Somebody can live in Queens. Somebody can live in Harlem. I'm hearing something about East New York. I keep hearing Brooklyn in the house. Somebody live up north, preferably Harlem. I'm hearing Harlem, Queens. I'm hearing Harlem heavy. Okay. Yeah. What is this spirit? What do you need to release? I have no idea what that is. We'll see what that is in a second. Ah, okay, yeah, I see what that is. Yeah, we have message here. And then we have, what do you need to release? I feel like somebody is in a connection with their ex. Somebody is having a hard time getting rid of their ex. Damn, <laughs> damn, damn. <laughs> so, y'all, I would put this shit in my mouth while I'm trying to do a video. Hold on, y'all. I ain't gonna be able to talk like this. I thought I was. Okay, but listen, what I'm seeing here is, is that, first of all, somebody definitely live in, live in New York, okay? With this poverty card, I don't think somebody is in poverty. I'm just seeing like the streets. I'm seeing like the streets. I'm hearing the streets of Harlem, the streets of New York. Somebody can live like really close to the Apollo Theater or something. Somebody could be really into jazz music, Okay. Or somebody comes from a jazz, like hip hop, like background. Somebody could definitely be a professional rapper here. Somebody could definitely be from New York. I'm telling you, I'm seeing somebody like catch the train. I'm seeing somebody like, I'm hearing something about the boroughs. What the fuck is that? I have no idea what that is. I don't know. That's just what I'm hearing. I'm hearing somebody like, I'm seeing somebody like train hop. I'm seeing the subway. This person is extremely ha handsome. This is somebody's divine masculine, somebody's divine counterpart. What is this spirit? Yeah, conclusions are within reach in the reverse. Listen, so what I'm picking up on is this has to be for a divine feminine and, and a divine masculine. Nine of swords here, six of pentacles here. Damn, it's sticky ass cards. Devil card here in the reverse. Okay, eight of cups. Somebody is having a hard time. Now, this person don't have to be from New York. They could be from anywhere, male or female. But somebody know that they need to release their ex. But whoever the fuck they ex is, don't want to release them. Either this is you that don't want to release somebody or your person's person does not want to release them. Okay, or your person does not want to release you. They want you in poverty. Somebody is saying, I'm refusing to let you go. I'm here and I refuse to let you go. If I have to beg and plead for your sympathy. <laughs> Somebody is saying, girl, you ain't going no motherfucking where. Or man, you ain't going no motherfucking where. I belong to you. Damn, I'm hearing a lot of goddamn R&B songs. <laughs> oh, shit. This reading right here is going to be fucked up and funny. I can see this shit right now. Who sang that song? I'm hearing do 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 do. I belong to you. I belong. I give all my love to you. This is fucked up. 
every time I see your face, it makes me wanna sing in it. It's a time, a time to release negativity. And every time I think about your love, it drives me crazy. Yeah, somebody is crazy, all right? Somebody is crazy as fuck. Somebody says, no, you're mine. And we belong together for eternity. Somebody is trying to bind you to them. I'm telling you. So your divine counterpart can be from New York. Your divine counterpart can be from down south. Your divine counterpart can be from the west coast, the east coast, the south, the north, the way I don't fucking know, the southeast, the northeast, the westy. I don't know. I'm here. Somebody could be West Indian or somebody could have Native American heritage here. Y'all, this reading right here is really simple and straight to the point. So let's get into the gist of this. There is a fuck nigga out here or a karmic feminine out here or a karmic masculine out here that's working really, really hard to bind you to them. They're up under judgment. They're having a hard time doing this. Or maybe they actually think they're successful or maybe they're successful. I don't fucking know. But somebody is worried with the nine of swords here that you're going to get somebody else. Somebody is also worried that they're not going to, they're not, they're no longer going to be able to breadcrumb you and they're no longer going to be able to be a devil in your life with the devil card in the reverse somebody is trying to come in with some type of message here somebody is trying to stop you from getting to your person or for some of you whoever you're in a connection with they not they're refusing to let you go they, they know that you're trying to go towards a divine feminine or a divine masculine or they know somebody is about to come towards you or for some of you this could be somebody you don't even fucking know that's trying to bind you to them they don't want you to move forward yeah with what do you need to release somebody is like oh i know what i can do before divine feminine divine masculine get gets into communication with their person i'm gonna i'm gonna fake like i'm their person I'm going to pretend to be their person in the spirit just so I can come in and be a devil in their life and breadcrumb them. Somebody can even want you bedridden or hospitalized. Somebody is not to be trusted, man. Again, take what resonates, leave what don't. But I'm telling you, man, somebody is really not fucking to be trusted. Somebody is a loser here. I don't. I don't care if this is a man or a woman. Somebody got some loser vibes here. What is this? Yeah, we have the seven of wands, the eight of swords, and the ace of wands here. Somebody want to get it in too. Somebody want to sleep with you too. Somebody is saying, yeah, I'm, a, I'm here and I'll take your, I'll take your man. I'm here. Somebody want to dick you down or sex you down. I'm here to take you down. I really want to take you down. Yeah, princess of cups here in the reverse. I'm here and here we are all alone in this room yeah somebody is up under judgment man with the death card here scorpio energy somebody is up under heavy judgment and somebody is being blocked not only are they being blocked by the most high god possibly you you know as well in the physical star card prince of swords y'all i'm not gonna get into this bullshit yeah eight of cups here in the reverse somebody is somebody is saying somebody got a i don't know i don't even know to call, i don't even know to call this motherfucker a stalker Somebody is obsessed here. Somebody has somebody on their hands that they're, you're not going to be able to get rid of this person. The only person that's going to be able to get rid of this person is God. Maybe God is getting rid of this person and they can't take it. So they losing their goddamn mind. Yeah, king of this king of swords here. I'm seeing the princess of cups. I'm seeing the, the prince of swords. I'm seeing the multiple energies here. So like I said, this could be male or female that's doing spell work on a divine feminine or a divine masculine. It's either one of two things. Either you're in a relationship with this person. Like you could actually live with this motherfucker and they're trying to keep you from going to a divine feminine or a divine masculine or they're trying to keep or they know maybe you're not trying to go towards anybody they know that your person is about to come towards you and they're doing spell work to stop it to keep you bound to keep you binded to them to keep them to keep you stuck to them to keep you from walking away or divine feminine divine masculine this is some motherfucker that you don't even fucking know that's trying to keep you stuck you could be in the public eye or your person could be in the public eye. There's definitely something about money here. Yeah, I'm not going to spend a long time on this fucking message. I don't like this energy. This energy right here is pathetic. Yeah, universe card. Yeah, you're heavily protected by the most high God in the, in the universe. I feel like somebody is trying to... There's some type of energetic cord or something like that that needs to be broken. Somebody... I'm hearing break every chain. Break every chain. Yeah, there's some type of cord here that needs to be broken. Three of Pentacles here. 
I feel like somebody is not working it. They're not working in cahoots to keep you binded to them. They could have been at one point. I feel like if somebody was working in cahoots, if they hire like a spiritual practitioner or if they hire multiple people to do some type of spell work on you to bind, bind you to them, I feel like nobody's no longer participating in this because motherfuckers is getting their shit or they're still doing this. I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> Either way it go, everybody getting their shit or they're about to get their shit. Somebody is working really hard to try to get somebody to. I don't like this energy. This energy, bro. I'm finna get off of this shit. Empress card in the reverse, man. This, this, I don't, I don't, I don't know, bro. It's a, it's a karmic ass feminine out here, or a karmic ass masculine here that you're in a relationship with, or your part, or your person is in a relationship with that's trying to bind you to them, and they got help, okay, or. Or maybe you don't even know who the fuck this motherfucker is. I don't know. But somebody is refusing to move. Somebody don't want to move on from a queen of cups. Like, what the fuck, bruh? And I feel like this is the type of motherfucker that don't say shit to you. Male or female. This is the type of motherfucker that play normal. You know what I'm saying? You could be in a whole relationship with this motherfucker. You could be living with this motherfucker. And they'll just act as normal. But the whole time they doing spell work on you. Or you don't even know this motherfucker. Or maybe this is your ex. Or this is somebody from your past. And they just act like this is somebody that throws stones and hides their hands. This is somebody that does a lot of spiritual manipulation and, and spell work. Somebody is a warlock or a dark witch here. <sighs> five of swords and they up in their head because they the death card here judge because they know something is over and they're up under i don't know i don't like this energy i'm gonna get off of this this shit is pathetic bro this shit weird this shit is weird to me bro that the shit that these people be doing it be fucking weird like when i see this shit in the cards it be weird like you actually spend your time you got that much time every day 365 days 24 7 to stalk and harass and watch and stalk somebody or do spell work on them i mean goddamn if the person is already living in your house or in your home you got to do spell work on them too to keep them stuck to you, to keep them attached to you, or to keep them from moving forward, or, or I don't fucking know what this is, bro. I mean, I see what it is. It's just, ugh. I don't like this type of energy. What else is here, spirit? Yeah, a new start is coming regardless. Somebody, I'm going to tell you something right here. Somebody needs to do some type of cord cutting because whether this is a karmic feminine or a karmic masculine, they have help. Okay, somebody has, so there's a group of people that's possibly doing spell work. It's like, whoever this karmic masculine or karmic feminine is, they don't want to let go. So since they can't let go, they're doing spell work on you and your high level soulmate, your connection. They, they're working with a spiritual practitioner, their family, their friends. Somebody got help doing this over a queen of, queen of cups or a king of cups or whatever the fuck, nine of swords. But now they're worried because something is about to backfire or somebody is worried that you won't accept their offer. I'm here and you probably not, or maybe you are. I don't fucking know, man. Somebody is, uh, this is a lot of manipulation and spell work to keep somebody stuck with the hangman here. Somebody really need to do some type of cord cutting. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't know who the fuck this is, you need to go in the spirit and ask the most high God to, to get you away from this person because somebody is fucking crazy, man. I'm seeing that movie in my head waiting to exhale and yeah somebody is in love somebody is in love with a divine masculine in a divine somebody is in love with a divine masculine a divine feminine to the point that they don't know how to let go you might not even be in love with this motherfucker or you may actually be in a relationship with this person and you don't know you got you got doing you don't know the spell work is being done on you or some shit like that i don't fucking know but somebody is doing love a lot of love spells I don't know, bro. This is pathetic, bro. This is shit. This whole reading right here is annoying. I'm telling you, if you're resonating with this, you need to do some type of cut cord cutting. You need to somebody is trying to bind somebody to them. Somebody is saying, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not walking away from you. I'm not leaving you behind. I don't care. I'll do spell work on you. I'll huff and puff and blow your house down. I'll hire a spiritual practitioner. I'll do love spells. You're not gonna go towards a divine feminine. You're not gonna go towards a divine masculine. Or you know what I'm saying? You're gonna stay stuck here and stay binded to me. Blah blah blah. Yes, it is is what it is you're not gonna go anywhere i love you <laughs> what the fuck i'm seeing that movie waiting to exhale in my head and you know when fucking uh savannah her name was savannah right but aka whitney houston i think her name was savannah and she was dating that dude and he was in a relationship so maybe that's what's going on here. Remember, she was dating that dude and he was married to that one chick. They never they never showed who he was married to, but he was in love with Savannah, though. 
Savannah was like his divine feminine, but he was married to a karmic and he had a baby, a little girl by a karmic. And remember Savannah, they were sitting eating down and he was like, I love you, Savannah. You know, so I want to be with you, blah, blah, blah. And, and remember her home girl, Robin, she was dealing with a married man. You know what I'm saying? She was the one that would give Robin advice all the time. You feel what I'm saying? And so fucking Savannah was like, she remember she threw the drink in his face. You know, the, the, the dude that do the fucking Allstate commercials, his his ass. He was a nice looking man. He's still a nice looking man. But remember, she was like, uh, -uh I'll be damned if you're going to divorce your wife and get with me and then leave me pregnant, get me pregnant with a baby and leave me behind by myself a year later. Hell no. So she threw the drink in his face like F you and walked off and was like, <laughs> whatever the fuck she said, we be Houston said. She was like, uh, uh, and threw the drink in his face. So somebody, so yeah, man, this is crazy. I'm seeing what's going on here. So remember, that dude was so hurt because he really loved Savannah. <laughs> he really loved Whitney Houston. That dude was so hurt, he called her mama crying. And so remember, her mama started crying. I mean, her mama called her, called Savannah, called Whitney. I don't know. I think her name was Savannah. But her in the movie, Whitney Houston, her mama called her. It was like, you know. You wrong for that. That man love you. You know, he... he <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I can see this shit. The spirit. This, this, this reading right here. I told y'all this reading was going to be funny as fuck to me. I don't know about y'all. But Savannah mama called her and was like, Now, you know no man don't... <laughs> This reading is so fucking funny. <laughs> oh, Lord, it's reading funny, y'all. I can see this in the spirit. <sighs> okay, listen. In the movie, <laughs> way in the exhale, right? Y'all, spirit guys, y'all got to stop this shit. Give me the crazy head down. <laughs> oh, Lord. <sighs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry y'all forgive me but in the movie Savannah mama called her and she was like uh, now you know don't no grown man be crying unless he love her unless he, unless he love you whatever the fuck she said she was like ain't no man gonna be crying over you unless they love you all that man that man is just in a situationship Savannah <laughs> He just trying to get out of a situationship, Savannah. He's married. He has a baby, but he don't, he's trying to get out of it. Can't you see? And she was like, well, fuck you, mama. She didn't say fuck you, mama. She damn near said fuck you, mama. But forget you, mama. I don't care about that. Savannah, I don't want you to die alone. Savannah, I don't want you to grow old like me. So whoever the fuck this karmic masculine is, they could have reached out to your mama or something like that. Somebody could be calling your mama or your parents or your father. Please tell the Queen of Cups I love her. Somebody is shady as fuck, man. I'll say, I'll say that. Or divine masculine. This I feel listen, y'all. I really feel like this is somebody that could have lost you. I don't care if this is a woman or a man, a man or a woman. So divine masculine, this female could have been cool with your mama or daddy and she calling. I don't like people that do shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You might not even be cool with your own parents. You might not even be in communication with your mama or daddy. Or maybe you is, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers reaching out to your family to get, yeah, you a grown ass man, divine masculine. You a grown ass woman, divine feminine. Somebody think if they reach out to your mama or your daddy, it's going to convince them. It's going to convince you to, to, to be with them. And I don't, I didn't never, uh, what I, what I, uh, yeah, moon card here. This person is, this person doing this behind the scenes, but I don't remember Savannah ever getting with him. Shit. Cause like the moral of the story, let me tell y'all something, ladies, in the movie Waiting to Exhale. The moral to the story in that movie was each one of those women, okay, you had Whitney Houston, 
She was uh she was independent. She was she was successful. All of them were successful. Let's not, you know, but you know, Whitney Houston was she was more so alpha female. She didn't need she was she had she you know, she wasn't sad, she wasn't depressed, she wasn't really fooling with nobody. You know what I'm saying? The men, the men that you know that they was chasing her. You know, she was in her own world, she was alpha, she didn't need a man, she wanted a man, but she didn't really give a fuck about having one. She didn't give a fuck about her mama telling her, Oh, you gonna die lonely. She said, Well, fuck it, shit. If I die lonely, well fuck shit, fuck you. I don't give a damn shit. I'm living my best life. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm traveling. I'm working. She worked for some type of sports company or something like that. She was alpha. You know what I'm saying? She felt like it's not that she didn't feel like she needed a man. She just was in her own world, you know, just living her life, living her calling, living her dream. And her mom felt that that was wrong because her mom kind of came from a different era. You know what I'm saying? And so Robin, on the other hand, y'all, if I got their names messed up, my bad. I'm getting somewhere with this. But Robin, on the other hand, you know what I'm saying? She was, she had low self-esteem. She was insecure. She kept messing with them dudes, that married dude and shit. Then, uh, what's, her, what's her name? Uh, Bernie, Angela Bassett, her husband, she was already married. She already had a, a, a husband and he was cheating on her with another race. And, you know, and I mean... You know, it, it, forget the race, but he was, you know, she was, she was a married woman getting cheated on. And then, you know what I'm saying? I forgot the other one name, the one that owned the beauty, beauty shop, Loretta Devine. She put her life into her children. You know what I'm saying? You know, she looked at, she looked into her son to be her man. So what are y'all getting here with? The moral to the story is, is that in that movie, Waiting to Exhale, they were waiting to, <sighs> That's what they were waiting to do. They were waiting to breathe. They were waiting to go. <sighs> so what are you talking about, KMP? If there is a karmic masculine here that's trying to get to a queen of cups that has walked away from them, I'm telling you, this is somebody that could have betrayed you or hurt you in your past or whatever the fuck. Somebody wants to, somebody wants to come in and be like your knight in shining armor. Somebody wants to come in. They want you to be like, somebody wants you to lay your, lay, lay your head on their pillow. And just relax. But it's like the moral to the story in that movie was remember at the end of the movie it was happy new year it was new year's you know they had that bomb fire and they was all listening to the music they was all venting to each other the moral to that I know I keep repeating myself but I'm getting somewhere the moral to the story was is that they didn't need to exhale from a man they could exhale within themselves. The moral to the story is, is that they could love themselves. They could breathe themselves. They didn't need a man to fill that void. Yes, it's good to have one, but they didn't need that. You feel what I'm saying? They could exhale on their own. <sighs> Shit. That, 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 that movie is to teach women about self-love, self-care. You know what I'm saying? To, to women, female empowerment. If that makes sense. The Empress card in the reverse. Same for you, Divine Masculine. In a different way, though. I'm getting heavy downloads. I'm seeing that movie Low Down Dirty Shame in my head. Man, this is crazy. So I'm picking up on a, there is, there is, there is, man, listen, y'all, there is a lot, there is a karmic masculine and a divine masculine that's battling for an empress, but there is a karmic masculine out here that could be in a relationship with an empress in the reverse, but they really want to be with an empress queen of cups. Somebody is trying to walk away from their wife or their husband. Or their girlfriend or their baby mama or baby dad. Somebody is trying to walk away from somebody. I'm picking up on a karmic masculine though. There is a karmic masculine that's trying to walk away from their ex-wife or the mother of their kids. Because they want to be with an empress queen of cups. But this empress queen of cups already has a divine masculine. Another person. So whoever this karmic masculine is. This could be somebody that lost you. And I feel like your, your, your true high level soulmate, your masculine, and this person is battling battling in the spirit. But whoever this karmic feminine, karmic masculine is, they're doing spell work on a queen of cups, love spells. And they have help doing this with the three of pentacles. Somebody is trying to block you from your person. Somebody is saying, somebody is crazy. Somebody is crazy. 
And it's like, this karmic masculine here, this is a warlock. Somebody needs to do some type of cord cutting here. This person is trying to block you from your person, Empress Queen of Cups. And this, this person's baby mama or wife is trying to block them from you. And then all these, these, these both of these, this could be a couple here that's paying for spell work. Working with their family, working with their friends, practitioners and shit to play God in your life to keep you from this is so sad. Shit, but the type of shit like this, it would make you want to walk away. I'm seeing two movies here. In the movie Waiting to Exhale, Savannah was like, okay, yeah, Savannah asked uh, Bernie. Or I forgot, no, it was Gloria, De, uh, Loretta Devon. She asked Angela Bassett. She was like, did you fuck her, her? And she was like, yeah, I slept with him one time. Girl, he keep calling my phone, calling my job. And she was like, now you know you wrong for that. He's married. He got a wife. She said, well, shit, I got needs. You know what I'm saying? Like after she got it cheated, after she was being cheated on by her husband, she didn't give a fuck. You I mean, you know, she gave a fuck. That's why she didn't take it any further with him. You know what I'm saying? This is sad. I hope if y'all don't understand what I'm saying, I'm seeing this in the spirit. Angela Bassett, she realized her worth because she realized that she put too much of herself in her husband. She realized that she, 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 she did. It, again, that movie is about self-love. All, all of those women, each storyline was looking for love in a man when they, it was always within themselves. So, thank you, Spirit. So, what I'm hearing is, is that whoever this karmic masculine is that's in a relationship that's married to a karmic feminine that they probably not going to divorce or separate from. Somebody want to have their cake or eat it, too. Whoever the fuck this karmic masculine is, they want to come in and be an Empress Queen of Cups rescuer. Somebody wants to, somebody is very controlling here as well. Somebody wants to, somebody, somebody doesn't see you as an empress. Somebody sees you like a princess or some shit. Somebody does not respect you as a woman. Somebody actually feels like women are beneath them. Somebody was raised wrong. I feel like somebody comes from a family or some type of rag background where women are lesser, are less than men. Like, for example, if you was to decide, decide to get with this karmic masculine, whoever this is, whether this is somebody from your past or you don't even know this motherfucker that's going to end up sending you a message. <laughs> if you was to get into a relationship with this person, you will never be great. You will be somebody will literally bring you down. Whoever your divine masculine is, because I'm seeing low down, dirty, shame, dirt, they're, they're, they're going to fight for you. This is somebody that's intelligent. This is somebody that's, a sm that's smart. This is somebody here that, for example, in the movie Low Down Dirty Shame, he thought that other woman was his, was his divine feminine. But come to find out, Jada Pinkett was his divine feminine. But he caught on real quick. When he found out that that other chick was setting him up, he was like, fuck you. He started protecting his divine feminine. So divine feminine, whoever your person is, they're protecting you by any means necessary, if that makes sense. This is somebody that will not try to control you, ruin you, sabotage you. This is somebody that would allow you to be an empress. This is somebody that sees you as an empress. Yeah, lover's card here. Gemini. Look, I told you, so your divine counterpart, your divine counterpart could be a Gemini or Aries. They're called emperor. Your emperor... Yeah, you, you have a whole emperor out here. I feel like there's somebody here that's in love with you. They can't let go. There's somebody here that I'm telling you, this karmic masculine or karmic feminine could actually be in a relationship. They can actually be married and they want you in there in their person. Somebody is determined to get you. But you know what? Not even that. This could be somebody that actually changed. This could be somebody that's going through a divorce. This could be somebody that you don't fucking know, but they've been watching you or some shit like that. You got a lot of people watching you, male or female. This could be somebody that's really going through a divorce. This could be like the dude that Savannah, that Whitney Houston was dating. I believe that was her name in the movie. But Whitney Houston was dating that dude. And remember, he had a baby and he was married. He chose the wrong woman. He should have stayed. Yeah, so I feel like whoever this person is, this karmic masculine, somebody chose the wrong person. <coughs> somebody here chose a karmic feminine over a divine feminine. 
Somebody was tricked. Somebody was bamboozled. Somebody now realizes that you were their divine feminine the whole time or some shit like that. What is the Ten of Pentacles? I told you. Somebody knows that the abundance spiritually, whatever, physically, everything, is, it lies within this empress. I feel like this is somebody that lost you. God has already partnered you up, whether you with this person or not, with your person, with your emperor or your empress. And somebody is sick about that. They can't let go. They're doing love spells. They're working in cahoots with friends, family, spiritual practitioner. It's like this person is doing black magic and love spells and shit. This is a warlock. This is some type. You need to do some type of cord cutting here. This person is doing spell work over you to keep you from being with your emperor and this motherfucking person's baby mama or wife, empress in the reverse, queen of cups in the reverse, is doing spell work on them to keep them from you. Like what type of shit is this? And then not only that, if this, if this, if this, if this karmic masculine and they wife or girlfriend, if they've been doing spell work on you or if they pay somebody to do spell work on you, I feel like whoever they paid to do spell work on you, they still doing spell work on you. These two individuals could have told this person to stop or this man or this woman, whatever the fuck. And I feel like whoever they hired, some type of spiritual practitioner, three of pentacles here, hair fit, I feel like even they're obsessed with you, divine masculine, divine feminine. Now they doing spell work on you. They don't want you to get this love offer from an emperor or your, your, from your true person. I don't like this energy. This energy is sad. Yeah, tower card here in the reverse. Somebody is trying to bring an ending to your foundation. Somebody do not want you to get this love offer. Somebody is doing love spells on you to bring them. And I feel like this could be somebody that's actually married or going through a divorce. Or maybe their divorce is final. Somebody is saying, no, I'm not going to let you go. You're mine. And we belong together for eternity. You're mine. And we belong. <laughs> Look, this King of Cups, Prince of Wands here, this old childish ass motherfucker right here that's in love with an empress, somebody that could be an air sign or a water sign or a fire sign. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Libra, Taurus, motherfucking uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, or some shit. I don't fucking know. This could be anybody. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles here in the reverse temperance card here. Somebody could be even be doing this on an earth angel, Sagittarius. Somebody wants your abundance. It's like somebody may love you. Three of cups here. Somebody, two of cups here. Yeah, somebody want to, somebody love you. I'm here and I want to fuck you. You already know. Yeah, somebody want to sleep with you too. Somebody wants to, it's like somebody's love spells or binding work. It's not working enough. Somebody needs some type of, somebody needs a physical attachment to you. Somebody want to bang, 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 bang. Somebody want to tear that thing up. I'm going to tear it. I'm hearing Jeezy in my head. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to tear it up. Okay, y'all know the song. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, somebody, somebody feel like, I don't know, somebody feel like they can digmatize you or pussy whip you. Somebody, I don't know, man. Somebody here is weird. I'll tell you that. Somebody here is awfully weird. Yeah, they're hella weird. This is sad. This is, I'm telling you, if you're resonating with this, especially divine feminine, you need to do some type of cord cutting. Because somebody here is refusing to walk away. They're refusing. They're not going to walk away. They feel like you belong to them for eternity. They feel like you're theirs. This is somebody that lost you. Male or female. But I think I feel like this is going on with a divine feminine. This, this motherfucker is constantly doing spell work on you. Okay. This is sad. I finna get out of this energy. This is sad. Will of Fortune here. I'm telling you, somebody trying to play God in your life, man. This is sad. I'm hearing, uh, sitting here, wondering why you don't love me. I'm hearing Mary J. Blige. The way that I love you and baby have no fear. Yeah. Somebody crazy, bruh. Somebody fucking crazy. Look, high priestess here. I can love you. I can love you. I can love you. Somebody feel like they can love you better than your person, your true divine. I don't fucking know. I don't like this person, male or female. Three of swords here that's heartbroken. Two of pentacles in the reverse. This is somebody that could have juggled you in your past.
You know why I don't like this person, male or female? Because it's like somebody is trying to force somebody. Somebody is saying, no, I can make you happy. No, somebody is trying. Yeah, I, I, I'm the one for you. Nobody else. Me, me, me. You're mine. You're going to be with me. And, and when you be with me, I'm going to I'm going to force you to be with me. And you're going to be happy with me. You, you're not going to you're not getting away from me. I don't care if I got to hire a spiritual practitioner. I don't care if I care if I got to do love spells. I don't care if I got to come crying, come crawling. But what the fuck do they want you for? Whatever happened to telling a motherfucker no? Bye. Because I feel like when this person, this person could have actually rejected you or ghosted you and you, and maybe you wanted this person. Maybe you begged this person. And when you, when they, when you wanted them, they didn't want you. And now the fuck you didn't walk away. Now they mad. You know what I'm saying? Now they trying to cause you an ending to your foundation here. Five of Pentacles. If somebody wants you broke assed out so they can come in and save the day. Somebody trying to come in quickly, come in fast message card here y'all be careful it's so much goddamn shape shifting shape shifting in this energy in this reading this is pathetic i don't like this energy man again now this could be somebody you don't even fucking know that watch you or stalk you stalk your home stalk your house motherfucking uh, watch you on social media i don't know somebody feel like you belong to them and I'm telling you, this is the type of motherfucker that throws stones and hide their hands. Whether you live with this person or you don't even know who the fuck this is or this is somebody from your past. This is somebody that won't never say shit to you. This is somebody that, that's a hacker too. This is somebody that'll hack your emails, hack your account, hack your bank account, watch your house, plant shit around your home, pay people to do shit to you to ruin your life so they can come in and say that they, this, this is somebody here that's a, a real fucking nutcase. Yeah. This is dusty, busty. Who was who was that chick that uh was Robin was dating the, the one? She was like, yeah, take your take your uh. What did she say? She was like, take your tired ass home, leather suit in the summer, wearing ass. <laughs> That's what this is. Cause remember he hit a line of cocaine, and remember she got on the phone with Savannah. Yeah, somebody want somebody want to be your knight in shining shining armor, but they snort cocaine and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Somebody is a dope fiend. And remember, she called Savannah. She was like, well, I can't find my wallet. I don't know where I did with my wallet. And she was like, now, Savannah. And she and, he, and she was like, well, he said he only he only does it sometimes. Smoke, smoke, crack, snort cocaine. He only does it sometimes. And she says, now, Savannah, where the hell do you think your wallet went? I don't know where it went. <laughs> And then she hung up in her face so she could go see motherfucking, uh, I forgot that dude name. I forgot that dude name, man. Y'all, I hope y'all understand this reading. Ten of Cups here, man. Somebody, yeah. Yeah, Ten of Cups, King of Wands, Two of Wands here. Man, this man is trying to keep you stuck, Divine Feminine, because he want a family with you. Bless his heart. Whoever this man is, I really kind of feel sorry for this man because somebody need to just open their mouth. That's what I feel. You might actually want to be with this person, Divine Feminine, but closed mouth don't get fed. It's like, that's a turn off. I don't care if you're a Divine Masculine or a Divine Feminine. Like, if somebody wants you, open your fucking mouth. Send a message. Do something. Somebody, this ain't love. This is not love. Because when you love somebody, you don't try to ruin, you don't ruin, try to ruin their life. You don't try to sabotage them. Who the, that's not love. This is somebody that lost you and now they're trying to control your life and control your destiny and control who you end up with. And I'm telling you, this could be somebody that's already married, already in a, in a relationship, already in a connection. Or this person could be single. I don't know, but somebody is not wrapped too tight. I'm going to tell you, to be, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I mean, somebody is like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Somebody here is not rap. I, I would be surprised if this person take medicine or something. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about nobody that take medicine, but I'm just saying this is somebody here that ain't, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Bless their heart. They might be a crack baby. I don't know. Some something ain't too something ain't right. Bless that. Cause I really feel like whoever this is, male or female, somebody genuinely think in their mind that they doing the right thing. But I feel like somebody didn't took it too far. Somebody is a born, a bona fide warlock or a dark witch. So you, somebody, I'm telling you, divine masculine, divine feminine. I feel like this could be going on with a divine feminine, but it could be a divine, a, a masculine that's in feminine energy. Please do so. You need to do some cord cutting. Because this motherfucker is not going to let go. 
the noble th somebody does, somebody does not have a noble character whether they don't have it because they don't want to or maybe they don't know how but the noble thing to do here is to sit down and have a conversation with somebody instead of trying to manipulate somebody's life and do spell work how can you how can you even accept somebody expect somebody to, to accept you when you keep doing spell work on them and you keep trying to trying to have dominion and power over them like what the fuck this is crazy. This King of Pentacles that somebody is paying big money to put you in the Five of Pentacles. Somebody wants you codependent. Divine Feminine. I don't care. Divine that divine feminine, heavily empress. You have a divine counterpart here. You are an empress. Empress of the Empress. Somebody is trying to bring you a tower in your life. A King of Wands here is trying to bring a tower in your life. So you can't get with your emperor can't, or your emperor. So you can't, y'all understand what I'm saying? Divine, feminine, heavenly. So you can't be with your person. Somebody's trying to put you in the five of pentacles, ruin your foundation. Somebody does not like independent women. Somebody here does not like successful. Somebody, somebody, somebody is something wrong. Somebody has a God complex. Queen of Wands here. Somebody don't even see you as an empress. They don't even see you as a queen of wands. They see you as a princess of cups, a little girl, a little baby or something. Somebody is, I don't know. Somebody is, I don't know. Somebody here don't even see you as a human being. I mean, they probably, this is whoever this King of Wands is. This is somebody here that want to. I'm going to tell you, this is this is the type of relationship that this would be. This is the type of person that want to buy you everything. I mean, they will spoil you rotten. They'll buy you clothes, your shoes. they even buy you feminine products, Divine Feminine. This is somebody that will monitor and watch your every move. This is somebody that will... <laughs> this is somebody that probably will fuck the shit out of you all day long. Whenever you want it, whatever you need it. I mean, whenever they want it, whatever they need it. Somebody is controlling as fuck. Not only are they controlling, they will manipulate your mind. You will never be to, you will never get to be an empress here. I mean, you'll be well taken care of. You will never want for nothing, but you better not open your mouth. This motherfucker gonna get he gonna I turn on your ass, bitch. What you say? I, I, what, what, bitch, what, I say what? This type of motherfucker that slap the shit out your ass. Now I didn't told your ass anime, anime. I didn't told your ass anime to go put on a put on some pants. You can't wear no skirt today, anime. Now, you ain't singing a song the way that I want you to sing the song, anime. Now, sing the song. Sing the song from here, anime. Sing it from your gut, anime. I can't hear you, anime. Now, anime, come on, anime. You need to eat the cake, anime. You know what I'm doing? There's some good cake, anime. But I, I'm telling you, you're not going to have a life with this crazy motherfucker. Your emperor is not that type. This is this is low down, dirty shame. Your emperor is a real man. This man will let you be an empress. This man will be your equal. This person, this, there is a warlock out here that you need to do some cord cutting from that's trying to block and stop you from getting to your person. They're working with their family, their friends, a spiritual practitioner, their karmic ass wife, a girlfriend, baby mama. It's like this motherfucker is doing spell work on you. And, and, this, and, this, and this person and this bitch is doing spell work on them. Okay, period, point blank, y'all, I gotta go. I just realized I gotta go to my appointment. Shit, it's 2.15. I love y'all. I hope this reason, this reading resonates for y'all. I love y'all, okay? Listen, this motherfucker right here is crazy as fuck. Okay, please, whoever this message is re resonating for, do some cord cutting. I forgot I got an appointment, y'all. I'm gonna be late. Bye, y'all. I love y'all. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye.